Hello, and welcome to iClone Certified Training. I am your host, ICT4. This tutorial focuses on basic script creation. Creating basic scripts in iClone is easy. All you need to do is add an avatar into the scene. I'm going to do that by going to the Actor tab and selecting Dylan. Once we have him in the scene, you can see that I have him saved without his hair, so you can clearly see his face. I want to show you four simple ways to create basic scripts. If you click play on any project, you'll notice that there's no facial animation applied other than blinking. To change that, simply go to the Animation tab at the top, and then select Facial Animation. You'll notice in the Modify panel on the right, you can import CTS files coming from Crazy Talk. You can record your own vocal or import your own WAV file or text to speech. Let's try that. In the iClone text to speech editor, simply enter in the text that you wish your avatar to speak. It's that simple. So I'm going to try Hello, how are you? Welcome to iClone. You can make adjustments with the volume or adjust the pitch and the speed. For a male voice, I'm going to take the pitch and the speed down quite a bit. And then I'll use the preview button to listen to it to make sure it sounds good. Once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and select OK. And that will instantly apply our basic script to Dylan, creating facial animation. This is the first way to instantly create facial animation for your characters. Another way that you can try is by importing a WAV file that you might have recorded in another audio editor. Do this by clicking the open button. This will allow you to navigate to your WAV file that you have saved already in another location. This will also instantly apply facial animation to your avatar. This will also apply data to the Viseme track, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Here's a rendered example using only a WAV file. Hello, how are you? Welcome to iClone 4. In iClone, you can directly record your own voice by clicking the record button. This will open the record WAV menu and then select record. Talk into your microphone and then select stop when you're ready. You can use the play button to preview before you apply this to your avatar. If you're not happy with it, you can make changes and re-record, or if you're pleased, go ahead and select OK. This is the third way to instantly create a script that will apply facial animation to your avatar. It's pretty easy. Now, if you're familiar with Crazy Talk 6, you can instantly import your Crazy Talk files that you've created there using the Import CTS option. This will allow you to instantly navigate to your CTS file and apply that to your avatar. Note that when importing CTS, it will only import the Vasime and expression. And Crazy Talk motion clips will only be an animation bar on the expression track. Plus, Head movements recorded in Crazy Talk 6 cannot be exported into iClone. To view this data, simply open the timeline and select the Face tab. As you can see, the three tracks that are visible are the Sime, Expression, and Facial Layer, which can be edited with the Face Key tools. But to create this CTS data, you can simply open Crazy Talk 6 and do this very easily. As you can see, we have Dylan set up as our Crazy Talk model. Select the Script tab, and then either record your own voice, or select a WAV file. We're just going to go ahead and select the same WAV that we used in iClone. Once it's on your stage, click it to make it active, and then you can use the Timeline tab to begin to edit your script. But for this example, we just need a simple script file. To add that to our library, simply select the Add button, and then name your new CTS or Crazy Talk script file. This will be available to you directly in iClone 4. Now you're ready to return to iClone 4. 
where you'll be able to instantly access your new CTS file. Make sure you're where you want to be in your scene, and then select Import CTS once again from the Modify panel. Notice that your new CTS will be in your Crazy Talk 6 custom file. Open to apply directly to your avatar in the scene. For more tutorials and tips, be sure to visit www.realillusion.com.